New at 10, March 21st is known as World Down Syndrome Day, aiming to bring awareness and to celebrate differences. Fox 56's Jake Sarwar stopped by an event doing just that in Monroe County this afternoon. To celebrate World Down Syndrome Day, the Education Department of East Stroudsburg University organized a community walk and resource fair. ESU offers enrollment to adults with mental and intellectual disabilities who may have been told it's impossible. We're teaching our students how to advocate and to be aware of making our students feel included and just to be a part of the community. Dr. Jenna Scala, the chair of the Special Education Department, emphasizes the importance of seeing individuals with Down syndrome as equal. They have all the same wants, dreams, fears, that any other person has. We have differences, but those differences should not be extreme enough to exclude you. Many of the students participate in what is known as the SILS program, or Career and Independent Living and Learning Studies. We're a three years um, certificate program for individuals with learning um, and developmental disabilities who come here and get the true college experience. Program director Dylan Doran says the students enter nervously like any other college student and thrive as they continue through the program. They are a totally new person. They're ready to self-advocate for themselves. There are social butterflies throughout the whole university. Amy Williamson is a senior and reaffirms having Down syndrome doesn't make her any different. Down syndrome is like an extra chromosome, like try something 21. Um, that's an extra chromosome, so... But it doesn't mean there's anything different, right? No, it, nothing different at all. The organizers say that they look forward to continuing to promote inclusion here on campus and want to remind everyone that differences don't define the person. At East Stroudsburg University, I'm Jake Sarwar, Fox 56 News, 1st to 10. And to learn more about the college's program, head over to this story at fox56.com.